And now, CBS 21 Sports with Jason Bristol. There's 44 million doctor jokes on the internet. Here's the ones that aren't funny. Anything about Doc Halliday. I mean, the Phillies are in a bind right now. This guy just doesn't have it. I don't care what he did last week against the Pirates. Roy on the bump tonight against the Cleveland Indians in the first inning. Awful. Carlos Santana, the kid catcher. Giddy up here. Two-run shot to right. His fifth home run, Halliday gave up another homer, and it was 4-0. Move to the fourth. Lonnie Chisenhall up and out. Halliday, three and two-thirds, eight earned runs, gave up three homers. Phillies lose 14-2 after the Indians hit seven home runs. Nationals and Braves. Tim Hudson, the pitcher, batting for Atlanta in the fifth. Hudson waiting. Going to right. Bryce Harper's there. Going back. The leap looks good. The glove is there. But Bryce cannot make the grab. It's a home run. A home run? Hudson's wife can't even believe it. Atlanta wins 8-1. Tim Hudson, 200th career victory. Atlanta has now won nine straight over Washington. High school baseball, Mechanicsburg at home facing Middletown. Mechanicsburg up 1-0. Batting here. Bobby Menser through a hole. Two runs will score. And the Wildcats are up 3-0. Head to the seventh. Bases loaded for Middletown. Brett Altman, pass pitcher. Two runs come in. Middletown within one. It's 3-2. Two outs now. Mechanicsburg trying to close this one out. Ball off the pitcher's glove. Zach Ross, barehanded, got the out. And it's over. Mechanicsburg wins 3-2. Another key victory. Mechanicsburg, the coach, liking the way his team is playing. We got a number of seniors that have been around for a couple years, and I, I think they are a loose, a loose bunch. Um, but I felt real good the last couple weeks about them being ready to play every day. And I think we've been getting better and better the last couple weeks. You know, but no, I, I feel like they're ready to play. I feel like, uh, I feel like every game matters to them. It does. The Wildcats now a half game behind first place Lower Dolphin in the Mid-Pen Keystone Division. He is one of the oldest players in all of college baseball, and he's been swinging a bat in Franklin County. Now his college career is over, but he's not upset. He'll be back in uniform very soon. It's the small college baseball team with a coaching staff and a staff sergeant. Justin Warner, 31 years old, possibly the oldest college player this season to step on a diamond anywhere. When I got to college, the hardest part about it was being out of school for eight years. His new teammates at Penn State Montalto were very skeptical. After all, Justin Warner was Staff Sergeant Justin Warner. <laughs> Spending six of those eight years in the Air Force in places like Afghanistan. When he was done, he ran into head coach Merle Geyer, who asked him to play baseball here. They're the same age. Growing up, they were once teammates. He's a great leader. Uh, he really is. I think he's a born leader. He's born to do it. It didn't take long for the old man to hit either. As you can imagine, just having Justin around was good. He has so much baseball experience and life experience to us, so he's just as much of a coach to all us players as Merle is. Guys that are leaving me, God, I'm going to miss you. Um, I wish you the best of luck in life. Justin is one of those guys. This is his last practice. He's a senior, but he will be back in uniform. He's going to re-enlist with the Air Force for another six years. You can call him a leader, a big hitter, a coach on the field. Just don't call him a hero. That's a, a pretty broad term that gets thrown around there a lot, and uh, I'd like to reserve that for you know my friends and uh, military servicemen and women that don't come back. It's not age that defines one of the oldest college baseball players in the country. It's something else. Service. Well said. Yeah, and wow. Justin was one of the leading hitters, the leading hitter for Penn State Montalto. Says his wife Casey is really the one that supported him to do this crazy baseball thing in college. And again, one of the things that really stood out to me was he was talking to us about his experience in, experiences in Afghanistan and how rewarding it was for him to be there and to see some of the Afghani children and the way they reacted to him. So um, again, best of luck to him as he now begins another new career, if you Absolutely. will. Absolutely, wow. and thank you for your service. Yes. Wow, that's fantastic. Thanks, Jason. We'll be right back.